Citrix, a cloud computing and virtualization company, is used by companies including Microsoft, Google and SAP. One of its flagship products is Citrix Workspace, a virtualization platform that helps enterprises deploy apps and desktop remotely, including securing all the devices that connect to a network. Over the past three decades, Citrix has established itself as the clear leader in secure hybrid work. Hello and welcome to VAR India News Hour. Citrix merged with Tipco Software under the newly formed Cloud Software Group. Citrix spun off the rebranded Citrix ADC back into a standalone entity, Netscaler, under the same parent. A report says thousands of Citrix servers are still unpatched for critical security vulnerabilities. Industry was expecting that post acquisition, together with Tipco, they would be able to operate with greater scale and provide a larger customer base with a broader range of solutions to accelerate their digital transformations and enable them to deliver the future of hybrid work. The recent news on thousands of Citrix ADC and Gateway deployments remain vulnerable to two critical severity security issues that the vendor fixed in recent months. Researchers uncovered thousands of Citrix servers that are vulnerable to two critical flaws, one of which is being actively exploited by nation-state hackers. Netgear also warned its customers about a denial-of-service vulnerability affecting some of its devices. Citrix and the US National Security Agency warned earlier this month that CVE-2022-27518 is actively being exploited in the wild by threat actors, including the China-linked state-sponsored group APT5. Thousands of internet-facing Citrix servers are still unpatched, making them an attractive target for hacking crews. According to the NSA, Chinese hackers are modifying legitimate binaries within Citrix ADC that are essential for running the application. There are growing state-sponsored threat actors linked to China and Iran have leveraged this exploit for ransomware attacks, particularly targeting the healthcare industry. Both companies urged their respective customers to update their devices to the latest firm firmware as soon as possible. The two vulnerabilities in Citrix servers tracked CVE-2022-27510 and CVE-2022-27518 affect Citrix ADC and Citrix Gateway, the company's cloud-based solution for network traffic and access control. Let us now look into today's headlines in VAR India. Incred acquires Orowealth. Incred Capital has acquired digital investment firm Oruweld in an all-cash deal, owning a 71% stake in the company post-regulatory approvals. Oruweld offers low-cost wealth management services to retail customers and financial intermediaries such as banks, brokers and wealth managers. Incred will take over Oruweld's assets under management of over Rs 1100 crores. With the acquisition, Incred will also launch Incred Money. China launches first semi-high-speed hydrogen train. China CRRC Corporation Limited has unveiled its first hydrogen urban train, which is also Asia's first hydrogen train. The train was developed on the basis of the Fuxing high-speed platform and includes four cars with a top speed of 160 km per hour. It also has an operation range without refueling of 600 km. It is expected that the operation of the train will reduce CO2 emissions compared to diesel traction by 10 tons per year. CJI launches ESCR project to provide access to judgments. Chief Justice of India G.Y. Chandrachur launched the Electronic Supreme Court Reports project to provide free access to its about 34,000 judgments to lawyers, law students and the common public. These verdicts will be available on the Apex Court websites its mobile app and on the judgment portal of the National Judicial Data Grid. The ESCR project is an initiative to provide the digital version of the Apex Court's judgments in the manner as they are reported in the official law report, Supreme Court Reports. Suhail Samir steps down as Bharat Pay CEO. Bharat Pay's Chief Executive Officer Suhail Samir has resigned from the firm, marking another major exit after Bhavik Kodalia, Chief Revenue Officer Nitish Sharma and Chandrima Dhar. A Bharat Pay spokesperson said that Suhail Samir will transition to strategic advisor for the company from next week. While the company's board is searching for the new CEO, CFO Nalin Negi has been appointed as the interim CEO. 
Apple to increase battery replacement cost for out of warranty iPhones. Apple has announced that it is increasing the cost of out of warranty iPhone battery replacements for all models older than the iPhone 14 later this year. The current out of warranty battery service fee will apply until the end of February 2023. After that, the out of warranty battery service fee will be increased by $20 for all iPhone models prior to iPhone 14. Currently, Apple charges $69 for a battery replacement on most iPhone models. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to War India News Magazine. You can download the War India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.